Welcome to Powerline. I'm your host, Sky Knight, and let's talk dimensional robos. This deck I have here is a personal build of my own, and I'd like to share it with all of you. So let's get started with our grade zeros. At first, we have our forerunner, which is dimensional robo, Di Magnum. This is my starter. I only keep it at one, obviously, because it is my starter. I chose this card over Goyusha because of how I'm playing the deck and uh, what I do actually with this deck. It actually functions a lot better than Goyusha, although it doesn't really help when I get great stuck, but its function is much better for me than, than Goyusha. I run, for my trigger lineup, I run 10 crits, 2 draws, and 4 heals. Not for some people that may be a, a weird build, but I actually want to be a bit more aggressive with Dimensional Robos, seeing how most of their vanguards have the extra critical on them. So I want to be able to apply as much pressure as possible. So I'm running 10 crits with four of those having to be uh, Dimensional Robo die battles. For my grade ones, let's start with Dimensional Robo die shield. I run that at four. It really isn't much to say about this perfect guard. It's just I just run it at four. There's nothing really much to say. Next, I run three dimensional robo die braves. I use this card because it's an early card draw in my deck. Although it actually pulls out of the soul, which kind of goes against uh, certain cards in my deck. But it's actually really beneficial to get that card draw. It gives my vanguard something to do. Next, I run three Dimensional Robo Die Mariner. I use this card when I want to push to certain numbers mid to late game. Also, I use it when I want to get off uh, Die Art's ability by pulling two other soul. So I keep that at three. And lastly, for my grade ones, I run three Dimensional Robo Die Landers. Now, again, my one of my grade threes that I'm running is Diard, and so I wanted to be able to give the 4K and then give him his crit uh, anytime that's needed. That's why I run Dylander in this deck. Most people would think that's weird, but again, I have a very specific build. And now for my grade twos, I run four Dimensional Robo Diabarrets. This card is invaluable. The plus 4K and be able to kill a rearguard. I could use it in the beginning of the game when I'm at grade 2 or I could use it when I have uh, my grade 3 vanguards and just start going to town. It is actually a fantastic card. It's sad that it's a promo which means you have to get it when the time was out but it's a fantastic card and I, I prioritize this um, for my Dimension Robo deck. Next I run four Dimension of Robo Die Dragons. This is the 12k attacker. Again the options of grade twos for Dimension Robos is not not very big, so you're kind of just stuck running the 12k attacker. So it really isn't much to say about it. And lastly, I run two Dimension of Robo Kaisards. Uh, it was either this or Die Fighter, and I chose this because of the ability that it gives when my grade three rides on top of it. The extra 5k actually sometimes does matter. And depending on who's riding on top of it, it's actually extremely relevant, that 5k. It saves me from using up a resource of mine. And now for my grade 3s, I run two Ultimate Dimensional Robo Great Dayushas. Uh, I never want to see this card, <laughs> which is really sad. Never want to see it because it is legitimately just a Legion Mate to... Uh, Die Kaiser. I, I don't want to see it. I ever want to see it. I discard it for perfect guards. I discard it for stride. Never ever want to see it. it. It is just there, just to Legion. Next, I run four true Ultimate Dimensional Robo Great Die Kaiser. Uh, this again, Legion Mate. Its ability is actually extremely good. Uh, I know it's actually very dependent for me being in limit break, and it's dependent on Dayusha's abilities, but the ability to guard break and the, and the extra crit actually does matter, especially 
when your opponent's at three and you're and you're a legion, your opponent it just isn't safe uh, at any time, and they're always gonna overguard against this card. It is just a really basic good card for dimensional rebel for his ability. Guard breaking crit, it terrifies your opponent. And lastly, the star of my deck, and you're gonna question this, but just hear me out. Just hear me out with this one. The star of my deck, I run four super dimensional robo diards. Now, I want to write him first at all times because of his second ability which is uh, gaining the crit if his power is 1,500 or more. Now, I told you my deck is built a certain way, and that is to apply that crit every single turn. I don't want to rush to get to limit break status with this deck, and, and I don't want to sit on Dykeiser, the break ride, because most people will, will sit you on Dykeiser until they're ready to handle you. And I don't like waiting. I legitimately don't like waiting. So I play this card, I play the crit every single turn, and I play that game. It's, it's, I have a lot of fun doing it. it, it uh, no one sees it coming. It, it, this card is just fantastic. And when I do end up going to Limit Break, and I know I can go for that final push and kill my opponent, I use this Limit Break ability, go straight into Dykeiser Legion, get the cards back in the deck, Usually the gray threes that I'm discarding and continue to apply a new sense of pressure. This card is fantastic. I don't I don't I just don't want to sit on Dykeiser. That's my main thing. I had that issue when I was when I had a Dykeiser deck. People were like, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you sit here on Dykeiser until I'm ready to deal with you at your limit break. You never put me to four. It was actually quite frustrating. And there you have it. This is Sky Knight's build to his dimensional robo deck. I know it is extremely different than what we see most people playing. They're usually doing the stride mechanics with Command of Laurel and drawing all those cards in. And I guess that's cool for them, but for me it is I want you to be in range at me at all times when I play. I want you to fear the deck because you know I'm attacking with the crit every single turn. Uh, if you have any suggestions on decks that I can put together and showcase for you guys, let me know in the comment sections below. Again, thank you for listening and or watching. My name is Sky Knight, and have a great day.